Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at three ways to do inventory status changes in Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse. Hey guys, so what we're going to take a look at today is how we can change inventory statuses in, in the warehouse. So inventory status is a warehouse, advanced, advanced warehouse dimension that is used. And it's real helpful to understand how we can change that. Before we get into that, I just want to say I create a new video every week and, and post it here on the Dynamics Post. So feel free to subscribe so you get those notifications when I get uh, when I post a new video. I generally post a new video every Tuesday. So the first method that we'll take a look at here is going to be the inventory status change. And usually you'll use this if you're going to change a lot of inventory statuses all at once. It allows you to put in criteria and decide which, which inventory statuses you're gonna change. So let's go and take a look at that one first. All right, so the first method we're gonna use is the inventory status change from the warehouse menu. Uh, before we go there, let's go ahead and look at the on hand of the item we're gonna be using today. So I have an item Z002, and I'm gonna be affecting the, uh, the status in this location here, the Z pick two location. So right now they're available and it's got 347. So let's take a look at the uh, inventory status change. So that's under warehouse management and then periodic tasks and then inventory status change. And this tool is more for bulk updating. We're gonna update one location, but if I was gonna use this, I'd, I'd use this more for, for more widespread updates. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna tell what the two inventory status is gonna be. I'm gonna change this to blocking. And then you're gonna define your records to include. Go down the filter here. And I've already got it filled out with my item number is going to be Z0002. And my inventory dimension, my location is going to be ZPIC2. So I'll say OK to that. And then OK to that. And we'll let that run. OK, and that's finished. So let's go back and look at our on hand. We'll go ahead and refresh that. And notice that they're all uh, changed to blocking for that ZPIC2 location. All right, so the next one we're going to take a look at is the warehouse status change. I use this mainly when I'm doing, trying to do targeted uh, status changes. So, so if there's a specific location I'm wanting to change the status of the inventory in, I'll, I'll use this tool. So let's take a look at how to use that one next. The next method we're gonna use is the warehouse status change. So let's go refer back to our on hand again. Remember from our last exercise on the Z002, we changed the uh, 347 in ZPIC2 to blocking. So let's use the warehouse status change screen to change that to available. So again, that's gonna be under warehouse management, periodic tasks, and warehouse status change. Now when this screen loads, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put in your warehouse. So my warehouse is gonna be uh, 24 here. Site will fill in, change status to, we're gonna go, our uh, item is blocked, so we're gonna go to available. And the inventory status is gonna be blocking, I'm gonna set that there. And then we're gonna to go to this detail screen. And this is where we'll filter out what items we're looking to change. So we're gonna we're gonna filter out and we're gonna look at the just the uh, Z pick two location. I'm gonna select that, that one there to change. And then we're gonna say okay. And we're gonna go ahead and say yes. And I should mention that you can select multiple locations there. I didn't show that, but we just you can select um, more locations there. So I use this more, most often when I'm wanting to change a single location or I'm just trying to target a couple of individual locations. So let's go ahead and go back to our on hand again and let's refresh that. And now we see that it's changed back to available. Okay, so this next one is gonna be the warehouse mobile app. So I'm gonna show you how the warehouse worker can change the status of an item using the mobile app. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, the next method we're gonna look at is the using the mobile device. So let's take a look at the item, menu item set up for that. So we're gonna go into warehouse management, and then we're gonna to go to set up mobile device, and then mobile device menu items. And I've called mine uh, status change. So we'll scroll down until we find it here. And so just giving it a name of status change, title status change, the mode is gonna be work, cause it's gonna create work in the background. Um, and it's not gonna use existing work. And then the work creation process is just gonna be inventory status change. So this one's pretty easy to set up. Then I've added that to a menu item there. So let's go back and look at our on hand again. So we've got 347 at available in this ZPIC2 location. So let's go ahead and go ahead and look at our mobile device. Let me pull that up. And it's under my inventory menu. And I've got status change here. All right, so the first thing it's going to ask me is for the lo location or license plate. So my location is going to be ZPIC2.
and then my item is going to be the Z0002. All right, so I, it's going to default all the values here for me. Um, so this one is very handy because if you want to change a specific quantity, uh, this one allows you to do it. So if I only want to change, let's say I want to put 20 into a blocked location. So I'm going to say 20 there. And I'm going to put in my two status is going to go to blocking. You can say OK there. And then it's completed. So if I go ahead and refresh that, we'll show that I've got uh, 327 now and available and 20 in blocking. All right, so let me try that one more time since I did get an error on the screen. Let's go back to the status change screen. And in the location, we're going to put in uh, Z pick 2. And the item is going to be our Z0002. And I'll change this 327. Let's just say I'm going to add make 20 more blocks. So I'm going to go 20. And before I hit OK, and it's the other values are still set. So if I use the little right arrow here, I can scroll through. OK, so I don't want units of each is from status available. And then the two status, I'm going to change that to blocking. That's the way you can avoid getting the... Um, getting the error there. So if I come back here and refresh, it should show 40 at blocking, and I do. So I've got 307 left, 40 at blocking. So today we took a look at three ways you can change the inventory status using the Advanced Warehouse module in Dynamics 365. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it or give it a thumbs up. Also feel free to leave me a comment below of, you know, if you like the video or anything you'd like to change, see changed or any kind of future video topics you, you'd like me to do. A lot of my videos come from suggestions that people leave down in the comments. So again, I post one of these videos every week, um, generally on a Tuesday, so feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I, when I upload a new video. And until I see you next time, thanks for watching.